it's cold here in Florida today. So we have like, it was 45 degrees last night. We're gonna drop down to 40 tonight. And during the day today, we're gonna stay in like the 50s, 60s. So my air plants really don't care for temps below 50. So I usually keep them inside. Now, our weather has been fluctuating. Here in Florida this time of year, it really gets kind of funky. We get like 70 during the day some days and then we drop down to 38 and then the next day we're at like 60 and then the next day we're at like 80. So it gets really crazy. So this time of year, I really like to keep my air plants indoors and they really need a good watering right now. They're starting to get little brown edges on them and that's how you can tell that they're they're lacking some water here. Now air plants are really fun to grow because they don't require soil. They require no soil at all. This is kind of how I display them. And then the bigger ones I usually put in their own little cup like this. You can see how they just display really nice in here. And uh, these bloom once in their whole life. And then after they bloom, they push out a baby. So that's pretty cool. You can leave the babies to clump together like this little guy. Can see that baby growing really big on there and if it ends up falling off I mean this baby is older than that one and look how big it is compared to this little guy that's been growing by itself without the mother so the mother plant really um let me get in the sun here <laughs> the mother plant really uh, helps the baby to move along and just grow so usually I like to soak them like twice a week especially in dry climate so indoors it's been really dry we've had the heater on we've had it running because it's been cold out these past few days so we're gonna give them a nice soak you just want to put them in a bowl of water you can either fill up a jug with faucet water let it sit out with the cap off for a good 24 to 48 hours you know that's gonna be good enough all them chlorine and chemicals that are in your water we have really hard water here so um, my plants really don't care for it guys they, they turn yellow and just yucky so I usually fill up my jug 24 to 48 hours in advance if I don't have rain so we get a little rain here and there with our cold fronts before a cold front moves in we get rain so I make sure I put all my buckets out there to collect that rain put it in my jugs and I store it in shade you know you don't want this water getting hot on you um, if you are using faucet water you can let this jug sit out in the Sun with the lid off for a good 24 hours with that Sun beating on it and that Sun will purify this water for you for your plants then you can put it in your jug and store it like normal and uh, just fill up your your little bowl here I got a little glass bowl I like to use just because it's nice and big and uh, these little guys tend to damage a little bit easy on their foliage so you just want to make sure you don't touch that and then give them a good shake upside down shake them out you don't want that water to sit in there because then they just tend to rot out on you if they sit in there more than a day or so I'm gonna get soaking these little fellas and um, that's it guys bright indirect Sun is what they like they actually grow in crotches of trees so they don't require like direct Sun indirect Sun's great um, as long as it's really bright bright light for them and a bathroom's awesome because they love moisture so this is a great plant to grow in the bathroom and you can display them just really pretty however you want they end up getting roots on them here this one's got a little bit of a root system on him but um you can just go ahead and cut them off if you don't you can leave them on too it's up it's totally up to you what you want to do they don't need them to survive i don't like to cut the roots all the way down to the base of the stalk there um just because you can damage that stem and you don't want to touch that stem at all you want to leave that intact so just take them little roots off if they're bothering you and uh, remember to soak your air plants when they're showing signs of underwatering and try to keep them healthy with a lot of moisture they love moisture these plants so till next time guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and this helps you in the best way possible to take care of your air plants. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna try to go live later, so keep an eye out for that. If I don't end up doing it later, I will might be doing it tomorrow. So just keep an eye out guys. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, bye-bye.